I'm Katie Kempner and welcome to Perspectives during Advertising Week Europe. And as my last guest of the day, I am really thrilled to welcome Trish Halpin, who is the Editor-in-Chief of Marie Claire. Thank you for joining me. Oh, pleasure, Katie. Lovely to be here. We were talking about the, the age of your readers and you were seeing that they are sort of starting out in their careers. Mm -hmm. Could you talk a little bit about mm -hmm. what's interesting them right now, especially mm -hmm. as it comes to their careers and, build, and building a family? Yeah. I think our, um, Marie Claire um, readers in the UK are probably already sort of established on the career ladder, but it's about kind of making that next step and pushing themselves to the next level. But of course, what's coming into that with the age profile that they are, which is that sort of late 20s to mid late 30s, mm -hmm. is of course the question of motherhood. You know, when is the right time to have a baby? Is, uh, is having a baby going to, uh, what impact is that going to have on their career? How do they juggle sort of baby and fa family life? I think from a career point of view, that's one key strand alongside the how do I push myself even further and make it to the next level. And so what are some of the things that you're writing about in terms of when they should have a baby or mm -hmm. how they should? Because I think no matter how you do it, I was reading something about uh, women leaders recently and it said what women who are leaders struggle with much more than men is just this guilt. Yes. Whatever they're yes. doing, just this yes. guilt. So is that something that you address with I them? I think it is to a certain extent. We talk about the fact that try not to take your foot off the pedal as you're going into your maternity leave, which I think can be a mistake that some women make. You know, some women might not go for that promotion because they think, actually, I want to, get, I want to have a baby in a year's time, right. so I'm not going to go for that promotion now because it's not the right time. You must go for the opportunities when they're there, and then the baby thing, you will make all of that work, but you don't take your foot off the pedal. And I think coming back as well, don't be scared, don't be worried. We do a supplement twice a year called Marie Claire at Work, and it's a big 32-page um, supplement, and, and the theme for it is career strategies. We have a feature in there of women um, at career milestones, and it could be anything from I'm a permanent intern, I can't kind of move up the ladder, through to a woman who works in corporate banking, who's very, very successful. Um, she's on maternity leave, she's going back in, in two months' time, and she's really anxious about it. Now, this is a woman who has achieved remarkable things in her career, yet she's anxious about going back, worrying that the person who's there replacing her at the moment might be doing a better job than her. I think we forget too easily the reason why we are where we are is because we're good at things, and yeah. having six months off maternity leave is not going to stop you being good at those things. Just because you're suddenly a, mo a mother doesn't mean you can't do your job as well. We were talking, I have two teenagers, and I never really took maternity leave. Mm -hmm. At the time, my company was smaller, and my company said, well, look, we'll pay you, but can we call you whenever we need you? Mm -hmm. I said, yes, that'll be fine. Yeah. And I think that, you know, taking that time off mm -hmm. is really important to adjust as a mother. It is. I mean, we have got very, very good maternity laws here in the UK. You can take up to a year off, and they've changed. Uh, they've just recently changed it to, to make it that either the father or the mother can take that time off. Oh, yeah. So I think that's a good thing. Obviously, what you have to bear in mind is not many people can afford to take a year off. Yeah. And I think there needs to be a whole social shift in the idea of men taking paternity leave. And, you know, we need a few brave men out there doing that and sort of starting that path. Because I think otherwise, the, the issue of childcare, it's never going to change from being the mother's responsibility, the mother's issue. And until some men kind of put themselves out there, whether men want to do it or not is another story. <laughs> is another yeah. story. Um, I took um, I took six months leave, but I had I had twins, so it was quite a big deal. But I felt ready to come back. I felt ready mm -hmm. to kind of get back in the saddle, and I was terrified about how I was going to juggle the both. But I knew I wanted to come back, and I thought right, I'm just just going to have to do it. I just came back, and actually it was it was fine. Well, I wanted to ask you a little bit about that. I mean, having twins mm -hmm. and having this very demanding mm -hmm. career, how are you able to sort of mm -hmm. juggle everything? And do you feel you sort of figured out a system for yourself. The main sort of difference for me I felt going back from maternity leave, and we are, we are talking 10 years ago now, but um, was really about how conscious I had to be of my time and how productive I had to, to be in my working day. Whereas before I might take longer to do something or just talk more to my team. Obviously on working in a creative industry, you're talking, you're collaborating. It's important that people are able to talk about their ideas because yeah. that's what we're doing at the end of the day. But it was actually having to be a little bit more disciplined about that. And it was the, you know what, I'm leaving at six, it's six, I'm leaving, rather than feeling that I had to hang around. And I, I kind of refused to feel guilty about the fact that I left on time because as an editor-in-chief, I go to a lot of evening events or have to travel overseas, and I feel like it balances out, except it balances out in my company's favor, right. <laughs> because they still get way more of my time than probably what I'm contracted to do. But that yeah. is, I think, in the nature of any kind of, uh, you know, a high-powered 
job for woman or man, that's what you're expected to do. And now with your kids being a little older, mm -hmm. are there certain things, you know, I've spoke with one woman today who said, well, I'll go out two nights a week, three nights I won't go out, and I've heard other people say, you know, like I'll turn my phone off at dinner and that's yeah. it, and then I, yeah. you know, do you have certain things like that? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm quite good at switching off, and um, I'm, I'm sort of very much of the view of, I don't check my Blackberry in the evening, if somebody needs me, they will call me. I mm -hmm. never really get calls in the evening because if, I, I like to think that things are quite well managed in the office in the day, so it's very rare, unless something's gone totally horribly wrong, that I would get that phone call. And, and equally on holiday, I don't look at my, I'm not the sort of... We don't. Oh, no. Wow. Naughty. <laughs> Is it naughty? I don't know. I because don't think what, what so. It's great. I start looking through those emails, maybe one might be relevant, and I've right. spent half an hour reading 30 irrelevant emails. My brain has wandered off. I'm not focusing on my family. So I'm yeah. very much a believer in that holidays are family time. And, and again, if, if I'm needed, my boss can call me, my team can call me. I make that very clear. Just two more quick questions. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing I wanted to ask you about is mentorship. Mm -hmm. We just talked to Poppy. She was talking about being a part of your mentorship program yes, which sounded yes. really interesting I was wondering yes, if you could talk a little absolutely. bit about that. We um, started a mentorship program at Marie Claire about four or five years ago just at the point where um, the recession was really hitting and we felt that we needed to do something to kind of help our readers support our readers and, and encourage our readers to kind of try and ach achieve their career ambitions or launch their business so we are uh, each year we have about 20 fabulous successful women across the fields of anything from interior design to novelists all sorts of different Different things, all sorts of skills and disciplines, and our readers apply to be mentored by them, and they get a six-month mentorship program where they meet with the mentor. They um, they then have regular phone calls, and then we kind of follow their progress and sort of round it all up in this, as I said, this Mary Claire at Work supplement. It's very nice to see the impact that that can have, and and what's really great is that all the women who have offered their time to take part in it have really valued it and enjoyed it, and been very very. Um, you know, generous and very happy to give their time, which personally I find very, you know, very moving actually. Yeah. yeah. Women supporting women, yeah. it's a it's very good thing. Hugely important. Very good yeah, thing. yeah, don't pull up the ladder behind you, isn't that what yeah. they say when you yes. get yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, my last question, which I just like to ask at the end, is mm -hmm. do you have one piece of advice that's helped you in your career that mm -hmm. you can share with us that might be inspiring to others? Ditch the guilt. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Ditch the guilt for any mother in any, you uh, you know, the idea, can you have it all? I, I don't have it all. I, I don't, you know, I, I would love to have probably more time to spend with my friends. My husband probably wishes that he was probably higher up my priority list than he is, you know, because obviously the children and the job, they take up most of my time and they yeah. come first. It's a short period of your life, you know, the maternity leave when the children are small. You're going to be working for a very long time, you know, your career is going to be really important to you. It's a small period of your life, so don't feel guilty about it. You can you can do it. That's terrific advice. <laughs> really is. Okay. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for talking Thank with you, me. Katie. Really nice to meet you.